Thomas, Wild Man Denny, and a look at the tail of the tape. Diaz with a height advantage and a reach advantage. He came in under the 160 pound limit at 159 and a half. And the tail of the tape is sponsored by Insurance. Now let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go from Stockton, California. Elite XC and CBS present a lightweight showdown scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner. Standing at five feet nine inches, he weighed in at 159 pounds. Specializing in Valet Tudo, his record stands at 26 wins and 16 losses. Please welcome the inimitable MMA veteran, the tough, tried, and tested Thomas Wildman Denny. And his opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, standing at six feet one inch. He weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. He is indeed one of MMA's complete fighters, raised in the traditions of boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, with a record of 17 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. Please welcome Stockton's own pride and UFC veteran, the former WEC welterweight champion, introducing Nick Diaz. And now our referee in charge of this bout, introducing Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen, Nick Thomas, Nick. All right, gentlemen, the ground of the rules. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all the time, defend yourselves all the time. All right. Nick Diaz, 24 years old in desperate need of a good victory to set up a possible rematch with K.J. News. Diaz Denny. Tell me, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Here we go. Denny, quickly, to the center. Stockton Arena is shaking down to its very foundation. An unbelievable response for the hometown hero, Nick Diaz. Denny's got good stand-up skill and good kickboxing skill. Diaz thought he would kickbox him, kicking the legs out, trying to Watch stand him up. head coming in, Thomas. But instead, he went for the takedown. Oh! My good friend, noted MMA journalist Sam Kaplan, calls Thomas Denny the Crash Davis of MMA. 37 years old, has never really escaped the AAA leagues, but here it is, national television. He wants to pull off the huge upset. There's a cut kick by Denny. What's Diaz's strategy here, Frank? Well, his strategy is to box, to, to keep the range and to box, to damage him, tire him out, to try to set up some kind of KO. I, I think it's kind of immature. I think he needs to take it to the ground, work some ground game, fatigue him out, get some good positions. But he's intent on this stand-up, bang-it-out game. He is a Gracie jiu-jitsu black belt. Now Diaz with He's going for Denny. a Kimura lock. He's going for a little bit of a, a elbow-shoulder lock there. He is very dangerous no matter what position he finds himself in on the ground. And as you mentioned, Frank, good escape by Thomas Denny. No slouch in the ground. Now he's well. going for the arm bar. Yeah, Diaz is advancing that position, but Denny keeps spinning around and getting his hips on top. That's where he needs to stay for this fight. Diaz told us that his opponents are scared of his jiu-jitsu skills. One of the reasons that we've seen a lot of his stand-up lately. Well, Denny is definitely there, taking it to wherever Diaz wants to go so far here early in round one. Well, this is the fight that the wild man wanted to fight. Fast and explosive. Those explosive movements he thought would damage Diaz. Diaz is more of the methodical, patient, kind of slow fighter. Whereas Denny's got the edge. If he keeps it fast, he keeps it wild. In the past, Diaz has struggled making the 160-pound weight limit. He came in for one 160-pound fight at 169. Denny, during the pre-fight, conversations made sure that Diaz would come in in shape at the proper weight. If not, he wouldn't have fought it. Well, Diaz made a statement coming in a half pound under the 160 pound weight limit for this fight. And so far, Denny doing a good job mixing it up with elbows. And now Diaz going to work with his boxing. 
Yeah, those elbows were working, but he's got a jab in. He's got to get in with the elbow. He's not moving his head to throw that elbow. He's standing right there and he's getting countered with punches. Your credit to Denny's making it an entertaining fight here in round one. He always does, and he's got his nail polish matching his hair today. Round one scheduled for three. Nick Diaz in black. Thomas Wildman Denny in the pink shorts. I think that's the first time I've ever said that in a combat sport. <laughs> I think they prefer salmon color. Is that <laughs> Call it what you want. They're banging. Uh-oh. Well, Denny in trouble now. He backs up. Diaz, very patient. Denny, wobbly legs. Diaz moving in. A lot of time here. Denny has expended a lot of energy trying to make this a quick pace. Nice jab by Diaz. In the clinch, Denny with the knee. Now dirty boxing. Well, Diaz is controlling this right now, but he's just got to be careful he doesn't run into either a big punch or an elbow because he's known for his cuts. He's been cutting the pass. He's got to be extra cautious of that. Short right hand. Superman punch getting through for Denny, but it doesn't phase Diaz. He yeah. comes back with a left hand. And I can guarantee that Superman never wore pink. <laughs> yeah, he may have. We don't know. But Denny's got to get off this cage. This is where this is where Diaz has an advantage with his wrestling and his height, pulling him down, working that boxing on the inside. Hey, he's listening to me. All right. A minute remaining in the first round. Diaz backing off Denny. It may not be the most entertaining strategy or most uh, smart strategy to employ for Thomas Denny, oh, but he's oh, making this an entertaining up, fight. That's the shot we were looking and for. And Denny goes down. Recovered. He's hurt. Denny in trouble. Diaz pouring it on in front of the hometown fans. 39 seconds to go. Oh, he takes a right hand. And Denny's been fighting his whole life. And the nothing. Stockton Arena's ready to explode. <laughs> 19 seconds. Nick Diaz going to the body now. Looks like Denny will survive the first round. Ah, quick, quick punch followed by an elbow by Diaz. Wow, Great action wow. here. Nick Diaz, wild man Denny going for broke. This stocked him. This is MMA on prime time. What a round! All right. Nick Diaz, Thomas Denny back in 30 seconds. You're looking good. Welcome back. Let's take a look. Don't get in the pistol. Electric. First round here in Stockton, California. Nick Let's Diaz go. in black. Let's go, guys. Wild man Diddy in the pink. And Diddy just coming up short on the punches. That reach advantage is killing him, and he's taking massive blows coming forward. He should be getting better range and then finding his opening. And you know what I love? Look in the background. Gina Carano on her feet going crazy. Round two scheduled for three. Three five-minute rounds. Gentlemen, Nick let's Diaz, fight. Thomas Denny. Compu strike totals round one. Lots Diaz 75 in. of 127 punches landed. Denny 23 of 70. Wow. Short punches really landed for Diaz. He hits him with a right hook. Oh, he's feeling it. He's Put it together. Oh, my goodness. Denny in trouble. Diaz punches in punches. Left hand sends Denny down. Pound round. And pound. And it's over. And the eruption begins. Wow. Denny refusing to go down. Frank, we had a wonderful time May 31st in Newark, New Jersey, but this is what I call an encore. Unbelievable night of fights, and Nick Diaz bringing the thunder home to Stockton. Well, the fans said they wanted real MMA. We brought him real MMA. That's what it looks like. Nick yeah. Diaz bowing to us right now. We should be bowing to him. Definitely, and you know what? Hats off to Thomas Wildman Denny, who showed up and made this a thriller. He really did. He picked the strategy. He was going to make this fight exciting. That's the war. That's the war. He could have won, but he didn't. Oh, nice. He's crazy.
Ah, oh, this is Diaz just smelling. You see him dancing around, hands up, jab, quick jab, overhand. He's just stalking him, coming in with massive blows and power punches. Then he's got to get off that cage and get some defense. And he's just got none here. He is stoned, he is rocked, and he is on his way to the canvas. Oh, and I like how Josh is there the whole time. Look at Rosenthal, right next to him the whole time. Great job by the referee. Protecting him the whole time. Nick Diaz, that is what you call a homecoming. And Diaz measuring him and then just stepping in with that power. He said he was going to be patient, not rush in, and not eat counter punches. He had a short elbow there, but every other punch was all Diaz. Look at him. He is clowning Dennis, Denny right Gee, here. Gee, I wonder where he may have uh, seen that before, <laughs> Mr. Shamrock. Well, it comes with confidence, and it comes with knowing that you got this fight won, and he had this fight won the moment he started connecting with those massive blows. Denny has no answer to anything right here, and he is literally out on his feet, waiting for a place to fall. You are seeing a clear-cut example tonight of why mixed martial arts is the fastest growing sport in the world, and we are bringing it to you from Stockton, California, CBS Saturday Night Fights, Nick Diaz with a definitive victory. KJ News, someone Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have the time of 30 seconds in round number two. Josh Rosenthal, our referee in charge, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Nick Diaz. Stockton, Stockton, one more time. Give it up for your homeboy, Nick Diaz. Nick, Denny came out early. He tried to set a quick pace. You remained calm and patient, and you put together your punches going both to the body and head. A brilliant performance. Yeah, real quick, please. Um, I'd like to de dedicate this performance tonight, and this whole night, and this whole night, and everything to a, a few friends of mine that, that uh, passed away. Um, first off, a special girl, very special girl uh, in my life. Uh, uh, named Stephanie Wise, okay, um, and Chi, Chi Ying Chang and Chi Ting Chang, and my friend Tony Booth, all from Stockton, uh, real quick. And I also want to thank uh, Chase Chevrolet, uh, John Ferriola, and uh, Ernie uh, Rodriguez for always having my back and uh, hooking me up when I needed it most. Uh, after party at the Red Rhino, happy birthday to um, uh, Maria and uh, Phil Torres. Okay, thank you so much for everything, Nick. Pacific Coast uh, Martial Arts. Thank you very much. Forest Street is where you train. That's where to train, don't play around. Ain't no fighters nowhere else. Real fighters are at Pacific Coast and Stockton. Thank okay, you, Nick. Thank you so much. Nick Diaz.